people, this is Katie, and I wanted to make an update to give out a little bit of a clarification and also me having some honest thoughts about a recent teaser trailer for the sequel to the best anime movie as well as the best movie of all time, Inside Out. And the sequel is called Inside Out 2. Yes, after all this wait, we finally get an update that's with the release of the sequel's first ever teaser trailer. In the teaser trailer, we have a montage of the first film to let us know where we left off. And then we're shown Riley turning 13. And while passing through the logos, a beaming sound was heard in the background. And it came from the red light bulb that was built in the console. Which is the same one that has the puberty label down below. At night, the red bulb flashes on with an alarming sound to indicate that Riley is now taking her natural steps, physically and mentally, of reaching womanhood. Then we see a group of mine workers breaking in the headquarters where they end up causing destruction and madness while they're giving a console a slight update with new sets of buttons. As this happens, the song Crazy Train plays in the background. And then we're lead to see the first ever new emotion of the team of Riley's emotions. An orange colored female emotion of anxiety. I was honestly blown away as I did everything from the very beginning where I see the trailers and promotions of the predecessor. It brought the same atmosphere of how Inside Out became great. And this teaser just tended me that the sequel is going to be as good as the original if not better. The sequels announced the premise that while Raleigh's getting older she also gets more emotions in her mind, working with the original ones. The concept was started out with Riley having a range between 5 and 27 emotions. It was scrapped into starting out with just 5 in the original just to maintain the quality of the characters than just their quantity. The premise is taken from the concept that was made during the original film's development. And then when they announced that they're adding more emotions to the next Inside Out movie, I was hyped, but also worried at the same time. The reason for that is because when they announced about the sequel having more emotions, they would indicate that they would confirm the ones that would replace emotions that not only I made, but also the ones that are featured in the Inside Out AU fanfics. And of course I got back into the fandom and focusing more of the arts and fanfic writing, especially after my DeviantArt ban. When the sequel emotions are announced, I was right about that possibility, but only to one of them. And surprisingly, it wasn't referred to any of the, my OC emotions. It was one of the OCs that my Inside Out teammate Taco made, which that is Envy. They announced that there will be four new emotions in the sequel. These emotions, beside anxiety, are embarrassment, annoy, and envy. Envy is briefly seen in the teaser poster. And she looks like she's bluish green color, which is kind of ironic because I heard that regular green is a color that matches the feeling of envy. And this envy looks stylish with hair clips in her hair, has freckles, and she literally has some like girly bambi like eyes for some reason. I bet that you guys think that my follow up fanfics, especially the long due sequel fanfic to the emotional story I made won't happen at all. Just because of the fact that both of the sequel is happening and the sequel is adding four new motions. But guys, the motions, well, except for Envy, are not exactly the ones that are made in the EU. We don't make the OCs that are based on anxiety, honey, and embarrassment. Not every other ones. Pixar even reject my idea of emotions I keep up with for the franchise when I first sent them a, a mail about my ideas as I don't work for Pixar. And besides, they prefer having the ones that are most likely stand out. So I can at least understand why they add the ones that are not like mine and others that you that are used in the AU. So best chances are most of our OCs, notably mine and my BFF Caitlin's, are most likely still safe to use. So you guys don't have to worry about them and the AU fanfic's not going to be made anymore because of the sequel and their new motions, especially the sequel fic to Motion Story AU. It's still happening, it's still going to be finished, it's still going to be come out hopefully sometime in the first half of the next year, which is 2024, maybe at least in the springtime. So I made this video to say, Kitty Girls Emotion OC fans, do not panic. If anything, it's going to be Takuyama fans' envy, probably because Pixar believes that envy is the one that stands out from the original five, can five canons like the rest of the four new ones, so I can at least understand why they do that, and not the rest of the ones we made. Speaking of which, we thankfully see Disgust and Fear being here 
instead of getting replaced. It turns out they gave them different actors to voice them since the original ones can't do so due to the contract issues. I wish that could be done with same with the other sequel movies that get rid of the original and important ones. So there you have it. I gave my thoughts and addressed some things regarding the fandom and all that stuff. What do you think? Do you like the characters that are added in the sequel? Are you excited to see them in there? And how do you feel? And how do you guys feel about the canon end feed that's made opposed to the end feed that's brought into the fanfics? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see y'all next time. Ugga mugga!